beneath the surface of Okanagan lakes, an invading species is limiting biodiversity, threatening fish habitat. When you swim into it, when you swim into it, that's right, today we're heading out with the Okanagan Basin Water Board to do battle with the Eurasian milfoil. On the front line, the Maruka, a cool tank-like amphibious vehicle and its dedicated driver, Dave Caswell, who's been battling the invader for decades. First and most obvious reason that comes to people's minds is that nobody likes swimming through a patch of weeds. And we've all been to the beach with the kids and seen them rush out into the water just to turn and run screaming back. You know, Daddy, something touched my leg. Well, we've all been through that, and nobody likes those weeds underwater. The Maruka is custom made for this job. This used to be an old uh, rock hauler from a mine. And basically from the platform up, everything's brand new. We put our own engine on it. We've got our own brand new cab. We built a roll bar for safety around the cab. Around back, the secret weapon. So I guess this wouldn't be out of place on a farm. No, this is, uh, this is the same kind of standard uh, Ford cultivator you'd find on just about any farm in the Okanagan. And this one may have even been in use at one point on one of our orchards up in Vernon. Uh, over the years, of course, this has been modified. We've tinkered with it. We've strengthened it and reinforced it. And, and we've broken it and rebuilt it many times. Operating like a water-going tractor, the Maruka plows up the lake bottom to attack the roots of the milfoil. This machine is really simple. All that this machine does is forward, backwards, and the cultivator goes up and down. So it's pretty straightforward. I think I could have you running this by the end of the day. You mean I could try it? Absolutely. Oh, come on, Vince, let's go. Come on. We head out into the lake and begin plowing up the bottom. It takes time and patience, but there's no trace of weeds on this beach. A lot of work goes into this, but like I said, um, it's a product of, of years of continual work. And uh, we've been working in this site here this year for about a week, and already you can see the really nice results. It's a beautiful, clean, sandy bottom already. What are these? Then it's my um, turn. The one on the left controls your left track, and the one on okay. the right controls your right track. So if you push them both forward, but that's right, you'll begin to move slowly forward. forward. If you pull them both back, you'll, come to, you'll stop and start to move back. Right. You can spin in a 360 if you want to turn them in opposite okay. directions. You might lose your camera, man. <laughs> well, I won't do it, Vince, honest. <laughs> that's it. We got power. You got it. We can feel it. And, and flip that switch. That switch. I'm going to hang on tight. And now you're in control, uh, nice and slow. So you ready, man? This could get shaky. Oh, oh, here we go. We got traction. There you go, you're in motion. Besides the aesthetic appeal of a nice sandy beach, Dave says there is a serious safety reason for controlling milfoil as well. In fact, only about seven or eight months ago, this past summer, a young lady unfortunately became entangled in Eurasian milfoil while swimming across a water body down in Pond Array. Uh, and unfortunately, she was held underwater for about 10 minutes and ultimately that young lady passed away. Uh, despite her friend's best efforts to get her out of the milfoil. Dave says that stopping the further spread of this invading non-native plant is something we all need to be aware of. Eurasian milfoil is a really hardy plant and it's a survivor. It uh, tends to leapfrog from one lake to the next and it can hitch a ride in a bait bucket or in a, a damp spot in the hold of a boat. And uh, it's a tough plant. It can survive over great distances as long as it has a little bit of moisture. Uh, I've even seen plants survive the winter at the bottom of my compost pile. All you kids that swim at this beach, you can thank me later, you know, this summer when there's no weeds here. Because I did this little pit right here. At the controls of the Maruka off Rotary Beach in Kelowna, I'm Doug Brown for Shaw TV.